Hi guys, um, my name is Susie and I'm a South African living in Poland and I've been teaching English as a second language for the past eight years um, and I've had a few people come up to me and ask me uh, like how do you teach or do, would you have any tips for other people who are interested in teaching children English. Uh, for example, I have this wonderful friend who speaks English perfectly, she speaks French perfectly. She's not um, a teacher, she studies something totally different, but uh, a few people have asked her if she would maybe like to teach their kids. And she kind of panicked and called me and she asked, uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I, I've never taught kids, I uh, don't hang around with kids. Uh, how do you teach someone who is not your age, who you think of as some small little alien? Um, so I'm going to give you three tips that could help you feel a little bit more confident on your first um, meeting or lesson with a small human being who would like to learn English or whose parents would like this human being to learn English. So my first step is ta to sit on the floor. So meeting an adult, um, just, just imagine you're meeting this person who's like so much taller than you and if you look at them you have to kind of be in this position uh, in order to see their face. It's kind of, um, kind of scary and intimidating and um, on top of this, this person is speaking to you using these words that you have no idea what they mean. But when you sit on the floor, you kind of make yourself a little bit more vulnerable, uh, but you're also on the level of this child, um, which makes them feel a little more comfortable and they, it makes you more approachable. Next tip, be interested. Being interested means reacting to what they're saying or um, to things that they're doing with interest. So for example, um, asking about a teddy and asking if it's theirs and showing interest in their teddy, showing interest in um, them making handstands and congratulating them on that, uh, showing interest in, for example, pictures on their wall and asking, you know, uh, did you do this? Is this yours? Wow, this is really good. Um, so just being interested in them and their environment and showing that you want to be there with this kid um, already kind of opens up this wave of friendship. Third thing is you know English, which I think is pretty important as a confidence builder because learning a language isn't actually that difficult. I think a lot of people block themselves and they think that no, this is impossible, I can't do it, I don't know, understand what you're saying, so I'm not going to listen to you. And I think it's important to find certain, um, certain things that the child understands and knows and congratulating them on it. Or I have this thing where I kind of um, trick them into knowing their language. I start with a drawing. Drawing in, in itself is a very, uh, very cool way to, uh, to interact with the child and teach English at the same time. So for example, um, I would say, okay, so I am drawing head and now I'm drawing two eyes, a nose and a mouth. Where are his eyes? Where can you see his eyes? And the child usually points, I'm like, well done, yes, that's his eyes. And then kind of like, you know, you see, you know English. So yeah, those were three other tips that I think uh, could be important as a start. If you have any tips of what made your first lessons work or what helped you when um, you started teaching kids, uh, let me know. Or if there's some other tips that you would like, you're welcome to let me know too. And maybe I can help out. Hey guys, so that was my first ever YouTube video and uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and um, I wish you an amazing 2017. Bye!